So when people think of Hawaii, they usually think of like coconuts and pineapples. Yeah. And today we will be showing you how to plant a pineapple and make coconut bread. bread. bring it back and he's gonna cut it open and then we're gonna teach you how to make coconut but step by step hey guys we're gonna go down to the beach and see if we can forge a coconut Hey guys, we just went down to Harbush, which is a beach two blocks from our house. We found a bunch of coconuts. Hey guys, we just got the coconut cracked open. We're gonna put the milk inside of this cup to save it for later to make coconut bread. Hey, we just cracked open another coconut because one coconut's not enough. So we just crack o cracked open another one and we're gonna pour the juice inside. And there's also some like meat, or I don't know really what to call it, inside of the coconut that you can eat. Hard. <laughs> you can try this at home, but you need to know the correct recipe. Pure supervision too. Hey guys, we got all of the coconut flesh from three coconuts. We put it in a food processor and now we have this. And this is gonna help to make the coconut bread. Hey guys, we got 200 millimeters of coconut milk. And then of the flesh, we have a little bit over a cup. So we got half a cup of sugar. We have the flour in there. And then we have the coconut milk and the coconut flesh. So dump that in. Then we dump this in. And then coconut milk. Yeah. Hey guys, we turned all of it mixed up together into dough and now we got to knead the dough. So you, you, you make the bread in, or the dough into a log and then you lay it on to your tin foil. We got it on there and then you roll it. Up. Okay, now we have the second one and we're gonna knead it into a log like we did with the other one. There, this, and roll. We're gonna put the also coconut bread on to pan and then we're gonna bake it in the oven for at 390 for 35 minutes. Now we're gonna try the coconut bread.
Floaty! Do you want coconut bread? It's hot. It's really good. We learned this recipe from the Polynesian Cultural Center. If you want to see that video, click right here. So good. It's so, oh no. There's hundreds of different kinds of pineapples, but we like the royal Hawaiian pineapples that are grown here on Oahu. Yeah, and we are about to cut them open and eat them and taste like mm, delicious. Yeah. So if you wanna see the doll plantation, click right here. There's a bunch of pineapples. I can do this, I don't need any help. Ugh, looks like you're struggling. Yeah, you you look like you were struggling even more. I know. The royal Hawaiian pineapple is juicy and it's a lot better than the regular pineapple. If you ne never came to Hawaii and uh, got a uh, these one kinds of pineapple, then you're missing out because the ones on the mainland are not as good as this. Now we're gonna go plant the pineapple. Pot, you're gonna put it in soon. First, you're gonna try separating the extra you have from the stem of the pineapple. And then, you're gonna put it in some dirt. We already have some pineapples growing. You're gonna put it in some dirt. And then you're gonna cover it up to about this level. To about like right next to the actual pineapple pet. You make a nice bed for it, so you put some dirt in first. And then you just cover it up. Cover the sides. We have all different kinds of pineapples, like all different kinds of ages. And these two are about a year and a half old. We've been going for about a year and a half. And then this one is about to start, there's a pineapple about to start coming out of there. Probably in about a couple months, I would say. Pineapples need a lot of water. 